2010 is not the year in which biodiversity loss has been halted, but it must be the year in which governments really start to take the issue seriously and substantially increase the, the efforts to take care of what's left on our planet. Back in 2002, the world's leaders recognised that we were destroying nature all across the planet. And in response to that, they set themselves a target to significantly reduce the rate of loss of biodiversity, species, habitats, populations by the year 2010. Our synthesis provides overwhelming evidence that we have failed to slow the rate of loss of nature and governments have failed to deliver on their commitments. So we found that in the last uh, few decades, more than 20% of the world's mangroves and seagrasses have been lost, animal populations have declined by a third, and the condition of coral reefs um, has uh, been reduced by 40%. And this is because the pressures on biodiversity, things like climate change, invasive species, overfishing, um, have all continued to increase. The policies addressing biodiversity loss have been inadequately targeted, implemented and funded. So for example, uh, governments have designated many protected areas, national parks and the like, but they've not necessarily been in the most important places for biodiversity. They haven't had sufficient funding and they haven't been adequately managed. The second is that biodiversity needs to be incorporated across all sectors of government and business. And the third is that the economic values of biodiversity need to be incorporated adequately into decision-making processes. We obtain huge um, economic um, services and benefits from biodiversity. Things like climate regulation, pollination of our crops, um, control of pests, drinking water and, um, uh, and natural resources. And these have been estimated to be worth $33 trillion a year. That's equivalent to 10 times the UK's GDP. Well, it's not all doom and gloom. There are some inspiring success stories and positive case studies. So, for example, many protected areas, national parks, have been designated, including, um, for example, an area the size of Wales was um, designated in 2006 um, as the Juruena National Park in Brazil. Species have been brought back from the brink of extinction, like the black stilt in New Zealand, and other species have, have recovered, um, for example, the European bison. And these uh, case studies, these examples, show that we have the um, tools and knowledge to save biodiversity. We just need to apply sufficient political will and adequate resources.